received my Moterm package today and I wanted to do a little unboxing so let's just jump right in as you see I have two here and this is from the new full grain leather weeks I think that's what they're calling it I want to say and first off of course the one that I opened first is the apricot It is a very close similar to Undyed. I love all the wrinkles on this. The texture is just beautiful. So the strap is a little bit smoother. Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet. My little one is napping and I'm really hoping he doesn't wake up. Of course, he's always napping when I film. <laughs> Um, and then the inside, as you see, it has a mixture of the different textures with smooth and everything. So these do have the side pocket, two inside full length here, two inside full length on this side, the full back pocket. And yeah, the only thing is I know it doesn't lay flat. And that is kind of a big thing for me. So I'm hoping that with training it, it can um, it can get adjusted to laying flat. And then it has the two clasp buttons with a pen loop facing outwards. I really like this color. Oh my goodness. Let me bring my Jillio to show you guys. One second. Let me go grab it. This is my Undyed Gilio and it is fairly really brand new. I bought it pre-loved but the two, I think it was two previous owners, maybe one, might have been two, um, did not use it. So it is super duper brand new. It doesn't have any patina. I did put it out in the sun once for about 30 minutes I think. So. Yeah, I haven't put it out again. And then the inside looks like this. And that is my undyed. And I would say that it the apricot is very similar to it if it was patina. So this is like a patina undyed. And I really, really like it a lot. It took me a while to get used to the undyed. So I really, really like this one. So let's put that to the side and open the other one. And I just saw it has like a little um, natural, what is that, like a natural speck I'm right here too. And uh, my friend actually got an apricot rings and she says, oh there's another one right there too. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, she said she got one and they she got water on it and it dried within like 30 minutes it was gone so the Motern leathers are very durable the other color that i got is midnight it is a black this one looks a little bit more smooth in my opinion might actually have a little bit of texture here on the top the straps are definitely mostly smooth from what I've been noticing. There is some texture actually on it. Oh, but the inside has all of the texture here. Wow. This is like a true deep black. And you know what? Let me compare it to my gel JL black and my Jaleel. Be right back. Okay, so as you can see here, let me show you the JL Black, which is a very um, pebbly texture here. So 
this is them two together and then this is the Jillio Epoca Black which obviously has more also like pebbly texture but they're like really close so I would say this is like super duper black then this is gets a little bit mid and this one seems a little lighter so cool to see the different leathers and these feel so so soft like I really really like this I am really happy with these as you can see I am now <laughs> starting a collection here um, the only other one that I have the only other cover is the Cuyo by VDS so I'll compare the um, so this is so the this one is a mega codex and it is a little bit shorter in regards to the width they are practically the same I would say yeah I think they're definitely the same like long wise let me put it this way yeah they're the same width so it is only the length which um as you see in this one i don't know if you can tell here it'll, it'll um focus there we go the clear cover is um pushing on the leather but this leather feels like very durable like it's stretchy like it has a little bit of give so i it doesn't bother me i did put in the clear cover because this hobonichi cover it's like the soft one it um it slides in here which was a little bit bothering me so that's why i put the clear cover on it but when i had the hard cover in it it did not give me an issue so I'm gonna take it out so I can see how the um, Moterm fits with a clear cover. Let's see. I probably should have opened this a little bit so I can get some space. That's the only thing that I don't like about these clear covers is it gets so stuck okay I think that's in now yeah there we go so as you see um, the clear cover is flush with the bottom above the last stitch and then the top still has a little bit of room here oh sorry a little bit of room here at the top so i hear that these more terms you can fit two books i don't have two i just have one and so it does have i think it does fit two but I'm not sure. I feel like probably with just a mega would be good. But I'm not going to be using it right now. So I'm going to just take that out. And then I want to see how it looks in the apricot. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I need to push it in a little bit more. It's still... There we go. So I am snapping it on the, like, tightest. It does have the lowest, low, less one, less tight one. So it does have space here for, like, another book. Or if you really chunk it up, the Mega for sure would fit really good. I really like it. I really, really like it. I'm so happy. 
now if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave me a comment below i hope this was helpful and i have hope you have a good rest of your day and if you like these kind of videos i would really appreciate if you guys would give me a subscribe and a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye